Okay, we are looking at a Kohler DEC 550 control here, and what we're going to do is to go through the process of setting up the Modbus configuration. So on the front of the system, then, uh, we have the touchpad over here on the right. Below the e-stop switch, there's a programming mode LED indicator that we'll mention in a minute. And then there's also a list of menus over here on the left. Uh, we'll be using two of these in this process the uh, programming mode, communication mode menus. So what we're going to do then is over here on our touchpad, we're going to start by pushing reset menu to get to the place where we can choose a menu. We're going to go into programming mode, which is menu number 14. So I'm going to hit 14 and enter. That puts us at the point of programming mode. Now I'm going to push the down arrow key which indicates we're in programming mode. And now the next thing we want to do is hit the left arrow key. And we want to go to local. Notice that right now we're in the, in the no condition for programming mode. I'm going to press yes. Now I'm going to hit enter and it's going to ask us for a password. The default password from Kohler is a simple zero. I'll press zero here and enter and it says entry accepted and now we are in programming mode. So that's great. Now it's time to set up the Modbus details. You'll notice at this point that the programming mode LED is blinking. That's giving you confirmation that we are in the condition we like. I'm going to hit press um, the uh, reset menu button one more time. This time we'll hit 13 for the communications menu and enter. It confirms that we're now going into the communications channel. I'm going to push the down arrow key to begin. There are two protocols that the 550 uses, KBUS and Modbus. I'm going to use the right hand arrow key to toggle between the two. Notice I can go back and forth. We are not going to make any changes to the KBUS configuration. We'll go to Modbus. Then under Modbus I'm going to press the down arrow key. This will take us down the details of Modbus. So Modbus Online should be yes. Should you find your unit saying no, then press yes to change it to yes. Down arrow again. Connection type single. Make sure it's yes. Down again. Primary port RS-485. Notice that if I use the right arrow key, we can toggle between RS-485 and 232. We'll stick with the 485 yes. Should it not be yes, then press the yes key to make it so. We go down key one more time. The Modbus unit ID or the address here is one. That's the default. We will leave it there. Down again, we come to baud rate. There are only two baud rate options, 9600 and 192. Uh, we are going to choose the 9600, so select it press yes to make that uh, change and now we go down menu one more time and we're done with that configuration let's hit reset menu we'll go back to 14 to programming mode so that we can leave the programming mode I hit 14 and enter and we go down one step we'll go right arrow until we get to programming mode off. Right now it's showing that we are not off, but we want it to be, so I'm going to press yes and then enter. It asks once again for the secret word, the password, zero. Enter. It says entry accepted. Now over here on the left hand side the programming mode LED has stopped blinking. We hit reset menu and back to where we started, but now we have Modbus enabled. That's it.